Hello, and welcome to Animal Chiropractic Clinic Chatter, a podcast where Dr. O from All Creatures Every Spine interviews doctors and animal owners that utilize animal chiropractic to get their unique perspectives. Yes, it's really a thing. Dr. O utilizes his 30 years of experience as both an animal chiropractor and veterinarian, and to dig deep into the discussion of complex issues affecting the lives of your animal friends and companions. Join us for this educational episode. Thanks for joining us for this portion of the episode as Dr. O begins to answer the question, What is animal chiropractic? He will look at how the chiropractic adjustment is a valuable and viable treatment for what ails your animals. chiropractic isn't veterinary medicine it's not chiropractic it's not body work it is similar to veterinary medicine it is similar to body work it is similar to chiropractic but it's not any of those it is a separate entity animal chiropractic isn't about moving bones animal chiropractic isn't about curing lameness Animal chiropractic does those things. It's not about relaxing muscles. It's not about, you know, improving gait. Animal chiropractic does those things. Animal chiropractic is the identification and removal of vertebral subluxations that create nervous system interference. This nervous system interference causes the body to not function at 100%. The body's not functioning at 100%. It can't counterbalance. It can't correct itself when it's falling. It can't digest its food properly. It can't respond to thunder in an appropriate manner. All kinds of things that go on. So an appropriately trained animal chiropractor isn't going to do muscle relaxation. That's not the goal. It may be a side effect. It's not going to improve the gait. Might be a side effect. Better digestion. Side effect. Calmer horse. Calmer dog. Side effects. All those things might be side effects. Certified animal chiropractor is trying to do is remove the vertebral interferences to the nervous system. To restore nerve flow to 100%, then the things around can happen. I had a gentleman this weekend talk to me about how if you had, you know, one contractor come in and fix a cracked pipe and another one come in and reseal the caulk around a window and, and then six months later the a different pipe cracks and another window is is, you know, needs recocked and, and you know, how that, you can just go on and on and on. But if you go in and really look at what's causing those pipes to crack, what's causing the, the caulk around the windows to, to, you know, start to fall out, uh, maybe it's the foundation. And so when somebody goes in there and corrects the foundation, then the windows stay caulked, the pipes don't crack anymore. 
the doors swing freer because the problem wasn't the caulk, the door that was sticking or the cracked pipe. The problem was the foundation. And it's the same with animal chiropractic. The problem isn't the bilateral muscle symmetry, it asymmetry. It's not the lack of digestion. It's not the lameness. The problem is the interferences in the nervous system. The problem is the foundation of every function in your animal's body is related to its nervous system. When you have a certified animal chiropractor come out, look at your animal, they're gonna look at things like that. They're gonna know which, which side of the nervous system is having problems. They're gonna know where the nervous system is being interfered with. It may be a long ways from the problem. It may be right close to the problem. But when they remove that interference, your animal's gonna feel better. It might last a day or two the first time. That's okay. Because then the second time it should last four or five. And eventually get up to where, depending on what you're doing with your animal, it's lasting an appropriate amount of time. The animal's able to hold his adjustment. Yep, our goal is to get your animal addicted to chiropractic care. To get your animal addicted to feeling the best he can be, the best she can be. To get your animal addicted to feeling great, to being the best companion it can be for you. Whether that be a lap dog or a champion dog, whether that be a pasture ornament or a 1D barrel race. So. Remember, the body heals only one way, above, down, inside, out. Keep your animals adjusted. Have a great day. Make sure to visit our website, allcreatureseveryspine.com, where you can subscribe to the show and learn more about getting your animals adjusted. If you are in the Meridian, Texas area, drop in on a Tuesday afternoon to get your animals adjusted. If that isn't possible, schedule a consultation on your animal's health with Dr. O. You can also purchase a copy of Dr. O's book. Yes, it's really a thing. Helping others experience an abundant life with the gift, art, and blessing that is animal chiropractic is our sole mission at All Creatures Every Spine. It's what we do. It's what we love. It truly is what keeps us motivated to help people just like you. I truly love the art of chiropractic. It drives me to provide the highest level of chiropractic possible. And as fellow chiropractic business owners, it's that love that drives us to become better. However, the reality is that sometimes running a successful business can be challenging. Sometimes there can be obstacles to overcome. We all know the old saying, if it were easy, everyone would do it. Well, one thing that is really easy is marketing our clinic with a professional animal chiropractic website by the Cairo website pro, Tony Seymour. He's a professional web designer and his team at Cairo website pro take good care of us. They simply make marketing our practice 100% hassle free. If you're looking for the number one hands-free way to market your practice, give the Cairo Website Pro a call at 423-779-4630 or simply visit www.cairowebsitepro.com and make sure you ask them about the special ACES discount and let them know Dr. Amy and Dr. O sent you. You'll be glad. Join us as Dr. O interviews a certified chiropractor, veterinarian, or an animal owner. These enthusiastic people explain how they utilize animal chiropractic to alter the lives of the animals in their communities.
Hey everybody, this is Dr. O. Welcome to another segment of Who is Animal Chiropractic in Animal Cl Chiropractic Clinic Chatter. So glad you tuned in today. And today we're with the vibrant Dr. Massey. Would you ex introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Dr. Amanda Massey and I am the owner of Elite Motion and Performance. I'm a human and animal chiropractor based out of Austin, Texas, but mobile throughout Texas. And I've been an animal chiropractor for six years and um, went to Parker and went through the Parker Chiropractic Program and um, basically was introduced to chiropractic by Dr. O when I was a little girl. And I was about to tell the story and he's like, let's record it. So uh, <laughs> I've told the story because I grew up with horses and, um, and I feel like Dr. O and I have come such a long way in our practices, um, just our lives too, in the last 15 years, a lot has changed. Um, and when I was, I guess this was like early 2000s, um, Dr. O's Two, ranch. 2001. 2001. Yeah. Yeah. So my family plays polo and we moved from Indonesia to Dallas. And the first thing we bought were polo ponies and we had our little mobile home and our polo ponies and our, you know, our horses were our, that was our life. And um, one of our horses got hurt, um, injured her hip and our veterinarian at the time recommended animal chiropractic. And we, I'd never been adjusted. I'd never even heard about chiropractic for people or animals at that time. And we were like, what is this? And um, so we had Dr. O out and he adjusted her several times and recommended some exercises to do with her. And within three months, she was better. And it was one of those things where this horse could have, in any other setting, like it saved the horse's life. Like some settings, these horses end up getting auctioned off or mistreated or, and this horse was able to come back and, and be an athlete again. And we were able to basically save this horse. And so it was my first little taste of the miracle of chiropractic and how the nervous system can reconnect and heal the tissues of, even after a soft tissue injury, it was pretty traumatic. Um, so if you want to pass on this question, you can. Okay. What had you intended to do before becoming, a, if you weren't going to be a chiropractor? So I was either going to be a um, medical doctor. I was actually thinking like surgeon or veterinarian. All right. And we've had this conversation before, you and I have. Uh -huh. Because who else was on your polo team at that time with you? My sister. Mm. And and what were her dreams at the time? She um, she became she was wanted to become a veterinarian, and she did become a veterinarian. She is a veterinarian still. Right. And and we've had some discussions about quality of life. Right. And work life uh, work family balance. Right. And since you have a first hand comparison to that would you like to share yeah i think i would especially for people out there who are considering both professions um i think veterinary school is challenging it's challenging to get in it's challenging to get through it and then especially as a large animal equine vet um it was really eye-opening for my sister because her first job out of vet school was at Palm Beach Equine, which is one of the top veterinary hospitals in the country. Um, some might say even the world. And it was not what she expected it was going to be. And it was really challenging. And, and now she's a small animal vet. So, um, but she has six horses and she's working on her work-life balance and she has, achieve that now but 
fresh out of school um, was really tough for her and um, and I felt for her. It was tough for me too. Anytime you start your own business, it's going to be challenging or getting out of school and transitioning to your professional life is challenging. But from a work-life balance perspective, I felt like I had the better deal because I was able to make my own schedule. I was able to charge what I felt was reasonable depending on the case that I was given. And um, it was a win-win for everybody. I was able to get that, that feeling of accomplishment by being able to help an animal or help someone live their best life. And it was like instant gratification to feel this like, oh, everything's better now, yay instead of sometimes the challenges you face as a veterinarian with people who've mistreated their animals, people who can't afford to take care of their animals, or animals that are not going to not going to survive. And it's just really depressing. It's challenging. It's a challenging, challenging field. And, and if I'm not mistaken, you got to start playing polo or continued to play polo all the way through school and a little bit at a very low level and i have recently decided now that i'm in my 30s that i don't really want to play high level because it's hard on your body physically um but i still play and i have fun and i have a really great network it's really awesome to be able to do what i love to do with my career but also mix it in with my passion my sport that i love to play so I get to help a lot of polo players and their horses. It's just a win-win, a lot of fun. Yeah, all right. Talk to us about your biggest win in animal chiropractic. Oh man, <laughs> biggest win. I mean, gosh, every year I get better and better at being a chiropractor as far as my adjustments are more, like my adjustments are faster, my adjustments are more impactful to the nervous system. Um, I would say this year has been my biggest win because um, I've recently hired another animal chiropractor to work with me and she's phenomenal. And to take her to the barn and, uh, and knock out all these animals and adjust them in a really good like quality adjustment, but to do it in an efficient time has been amazing. And I really wanna plug and thank Dr. Jay Komarik for that because I took one of his advanced animal chiropractic courses. Dr. Petra Solwald is also part of that. And that just made me realize how impactful the adjustment is. And I was spending a lot of time rubbing the light switch and, and not turning the power on. I was turning the power on, but I was also rubbing the light switch and you're wasting time sometimes when you do that. And so um, being able to communicate effectively what I was doing and make it happen, bring, bring it, as we say in the chiropractic world, like bring it, um, that has made a huge impact on my practice that I get. And also the new law changing to be where we can advertise about animal chiropractic. I've never been able to do that before and I don't do a ton of it, but enough to where people can actually search and people are looking for animal chiropractors everywhere. Right. I mean, I get new patients every week because they're looking for someone to help their cat, help their dog, help their horse. It's, it's a much needed field. We need more animal chiropractors out there. It is. So, but that brings up a point. Because I hear people all the time complain about the laws in my state right. and they're terrible and oh my gosh, they're terrible. And you just said, well, we changed the laws and now you can advertise, but did you have trouble? And by trouble, were you a successful animal chiropractor before the law changed? Yes, I would say I was. Um, and that's because I, well, I think one, because I'm an Aggie, helps get in with a lot of veterinarians in Texas that, that are Aggies. But I, um, I've, I have a list of over 10 people 
reference list. So if I have a veterinarian that's concerned, they can call people on my reference list. Um, and I really haven't had any trouble with veterinarians signing on my signing off my referral form um, because I have a good reputation and and I'm a good communicator. I'm willing to sit down and chat with what's going on and and I have had a few animals that I didn't adjust and that is and I referred them to a veterinarian that's also a chiropractor because there were other issues going on with that pet that were outside of my scope. And so that's, I think having those just clear boundaries makes sure you have a good reputation. They know that I'm not there just to make money. I'm there to help the animal. And and so that I think is huge is that we, even as veterinarians doing animal chiropractic, we have to stay within our boundaries. Right. Um, I get a lot of referrals from veterinarians because they know that I'm going to stay within my scope as an animal chiropractor, not my scope as a veterinarian, which I could do anything, but within an animal chiropractor. And if it is outside of chiropractic, I'm going to refer it back. Right. And I think someone's client. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's huge because I, hear of you know well my animal chiropractor does other modalities besides adjust you know what do you think of that i i think that 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 may be okay there are other modalities have their time and place but we need you know was it talked with veterinary? yeah yeah chiropractic yeah what's chiropractic Chiropractic allows the nervous system, like you said, you're turning the light switch off, not yeah. rubbing it, not rubbing it. <laughs> so what is your average adjustment time per horse? Well, it it's kind of depends on, sometimes I'm a big talker, even you know this. So typically for small animals, it's about five minutes or less, the actual adjustment time, but I spend a lot of time explaining what I do and talking to the owners. Um, I need to work on that, but um, I like talking to people. <sighs> Anyways, my horse adjustment time is about 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, and that's full spine, including all extremities and the TMJ. So. Yeah, good. Um, so one thing that we've done in our dogs is we go to walk-ins uh, open adjusting during certain times and you can ask all the questions you want but I'm going to be adjusting the next dog. <laughs> oh, that's great. So then everyone else hears the answers and I can answer their questions too. Everybody hears the answers. Um, if you're new, we try to make sure the new patients come in uh, on those days, scatter them out. So if they have like What's it gonna look like? Is it gonna, you know, we can bring in um, the repeats. They can watch some uh, rechecks, you know, um, and then, you know, when it's their turn, they're ready. Yeah. For their dog to get adjusted. The only thing we do on those days is animal chiropractic. Um, it's, if, if, you know, like I said, we are veterinarians, so we do talk nutrition. We do talk some other stuff, um, but not on those days. <laughs> on on Tuesdays from one to six, we are strictly animal chiropractic. It's strictly walk in, and you may have to wait. Right. Do you uh, also offer some sort of like consultation or email yes. type of thing, so that way you can you can because what I found. And this might be just added service that I throw in with my services. I like to email follow like email follow up and give them suggestions all in an email. It saves me so much time from having to do it all right then and there. I can just say, hey, I'm gonna send you a follow up later with everything you need. And I just boop. We we use um Cavanti. Okay. And Cavanti, um, and then we have developed, you know. I, I 
I laugh, Dr. Amy says it's not a good thing to tell people you're um, ADD, but <laughs> if I have to tell three people the same thing in a day, um, I make a brochure or a poster out of it. And then we have those available for other animal chiropractors on our website. And most of them are available in a handout and a PDF form as well. So like we will give somebody a nail trim flyer and then we can also attach the PDF to the uh, Cavanti um, receipt, which shows, you know, little red dots on the spine, every segment we adjust with arrows and all that kind of stuff. Um, so they get a picture of their dog or horse's spine, and then we can attach PDFs to it. And then there's a note section. And if we want to, you know, add some stuff in there, we can. Sometimes we'll send them stuff that we haven't talked about because we don't want to overwhelm them on the first visit. I mean, let's face it. You need a new farrier. You need a new saddle. Your horse needs a new barn because he's not getting enough exercise. And I should come out once a month. <laughs> yeah, I I do that overwhelming email. I send that email out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> if you talk to them in person, they're like, they're shutting down because it's like, whoa. And then they don't hear, you know, your horse is so much better than what I got here. Look how better he can move, you know. Let's, you know, see what, how long it lasts. But. So what do you wish all your animal owners knew about animal chiropractic? Oh man, all animal owners. I think I, one of the things that I think the biggest hurdle I have to jump is is the same hurdle you have to jump when you're a human chiropractor is legitimizing chiropractic and saying and explaining how it works and and also dispelling these these preconceived beliefs about chiropractic especially with quadrupeds and animals where you don't see or hear that pop sound and a lot of people associate the pop with an adjustment when that's not actually an adjustment. You can pop yourself just sitting there or on a foam roller, but what the adjustment actually is, is reconnecting the nervous system, the brain to the body. And so explaining that is like light bulb eye-opening for a lot of animal owners. And a lot of my human patients bring their pets in and after they've experienced chiropractic, but also vice versa, where people will see their pet get adjusted and they're like, wow, I am seeing a difference in how my pet responds and my pet seems happier, my pet seems to like this. I kind of want to experience this myself. And I think it's one of those things where you have to be brave enough to experience it or see it to, to go for it. But a lot of people have this preconceived fear or there's misconceptions about how chiropractic isn't isn't doing anything or that it could hurt you or or something like that i think people that there are people out there who are not um, trained that probably pop people and or there's there's all kinds of things that happen where doctors aren't real doctors and i see this all the time probably where chiropractors are trained to be a doctor and they don't do a thorough exam and they're not a good communicator and so the patient gets adjusted but not um doesn't know why they were adjusted or what what was yeah. Yeah. so that's the that's the thing that i think i would wish more people could more doctors would explain those things to their patients yeah and and i think it's important because a lot of times you know we deal with you know uncle ed or aunt edna you know, said, oh my gosh, don't go to a chiropractor because um, it will kill your pet or you'll die or so-and-so had a stroke. And it's just not- it's, Accurate information. Yeah, yeah. Accurate information. Yeah. So, and 
you know, it, if you go to a qualified person, your animals will get better. Right. You know, and that's the big thing because we have in here in Texas, you can't advertise as a chiropractor. We well, can now, but you can't. There's veterinarians that do animal chiropractic that have no training. There's chiropractors that do animal chiropractic that have no training. And, you know, we have a farrier in our area that will literally tell you he watched somebody do it once. Yeah, I've had a few. <laughs> I've had a few of those moments. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, and people, are, and, and the certified chiropractors that, you know, come through and, and they're always like, oh, how do we compete against that? Be better. Well, right? You don't worry. But yeah, you'd be better. Be you'd better than them. <laughs> and and the results speak for themselves because right. when you quit patting the light switch, I love that. When you quit patting the light switch and turn the power on, the everybody can speak. see it. Yeah, the power speaks for themselves. You know. Yeah. All right. Any well, thanks last? Thanks for having me. I, this was really fun, Doctor O. I appreciate you having me um, to talk to me. Any words of wisdom? for future animal chiropractors, animal chiropractors, or animal owners. Parting words of wisdom. Well, I would say get ready to work hard. And it's one of the most rewarding professions. I mean, I am, I just love what I do and I would do it every day. And I plan to for the rest of my life, um, but get ready to work hard. It takes a lot to, I also think writing out your beliefs, your belief about chiropractic, writing out those things will help you communicate better to your patients and your patients owners. Um, and then working on your intention and how you touch your pet, your, your um, patients. You've got to, the first two seconds you have put your hands on an animal, they are deciding if you are a friend or a foe. And that's key is that good intention, setting that intention getting your mind right before you even touch an animal. Those, those would be my parting words of advice. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today and everybody out there. Until next time, above, down, inside, out, keep the nervous system connected. If you are or know a veterinarian or chiropractor or a student of either of these professions, visit our website, Animal Chiropractic Education Source, to see how to become certified in animal chiropractic start improving the lives of the animals around you. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the ACES channels so that you never miss an exciting episode.